Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of September the 3rd through to the 9th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out, and let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the Eight of Cups in the upright. Next, we have the Ace of Swords reversed, followed then by the Knight of Swords in the upright. Next, we have the Five of Cups reversed. And lastly, we have the Page of Wands in the upright. I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Aries, for your overall energy, you have that of the Eight of Cups in the upright position. Well, the Eight of Cups, for me, uh, mainly speaks of um, feeling that sort of wanderlust, um, maybe on a, a vision quest type of energy where... We do feel satisfied. We're aware of the fact that we do have a lot of emotional fulfillment. Some people get their emotional fulfillment from their hobbies, from their jobs, from the people in their lives. Um, but there, in the Eight of Cups, there's something that's just missing. It's like there's something that you are in search of, maybe to give you that extra lift. For It's going to be different for all of you. Some of you, it could be a relationship, a special relationship. For others of you, this could represent um, trying to find a hobby that you know that will emotionally fulfill us it's just that sort of search for something a little bit more emotionally fulfilling now coming right off the hop you have the energies of the ace of swords in the reverse position the ace of swords upright this is about new beginnings in clarity and understanding and truth um, it's also known as the sword of victory when it's reversed like this there could be perhaps a, a victory you're trying to obtain and um, it's not forthcoming. And this could be due to the fact that you don't have enough information. Sometimes when the Eight of Swords or Ace of Swords comes up in the reverse, it's because we need a certain clarity and it's just not forthcoming right now. For some reason at the beginning of the week, maybe there's just a missing piece of the puzzle or there's just something missing in terms of your information in order to get to that new beginning and victory. It's paired up with the Knight of Swords, however, in the upright position. This is very encouraging because it could very well uh, mean that in the early part of the week, Aries, maybe you get your information because the Knight of Swords is a court card. So this could be representing a per... Um, a person if it's representing a person this is air energy that of gemini libra aquarius sun moon arising male or female now the um knight of swords in general swords represent communication thoughts ideas um and he comes rushing in very quickly um and knights generally make offers so it could be very much that this person is offering the much needed information or clarity that you need in order to move forward with this uh, plan or decision of yours so very nice uh, someone's definitely rushing towards you in the early part of the week aries now, the next card you have moving towards the weekend of the 8th and 9th, you have the Five of Cups in the reverse position. Five of Cups upright, this is a little bit of the pity party, crying over spilt milk kind of energy. And it's sort of fresh. This is very disappointing on the emotional front. When it's in the reverse, however, this can represent some healing going on. Perhaps for some of you, maybe you've been waiting on this person, uh, this Knight of Swords to come in and bring you some information. For others of you, you could be waiting on someone that perhaps could have ghosted you or you know hasn't been in contact for a while. And now now they come in with an explanation and the healing starts to begin so very very nice so far and the last card up that concludes your read is the page of wands in the upright position i do love this energy and again it's a court card so it could be representing a person this time it's fire energy aries like yourself or that of leo sag sun moon arising male or female now, it could be that um, this fire sign is coming in. Pages generally come in with a message. Um, the, the knights are an offer, and the pages are, messen are messengers. So it could be, I really like this energy because it's very fast-moving and it's very exciting. Um, the page of wands sometimes can represent 
uh, a message that we've been waiting on. This could be about travel. This could be about a work situation. It could be a message from a person that you've been waiting to hear from for a long time. Um, it's very exciting energy and it's pretty fast moving. You've got a lot of fast moving energy in this reading overall. The Knight of Swords is extremely uh, quick to come in. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can be a little bit argumentative when they come in uh, wielding their sword of truth. So it could be that, but sometimes arguments can help to, you know, clear the air and clear some situations up. And it could be at the end of the week, you get this message, this exciting new message, or it could, it's fire energy. It could even be you yourself, Aries, that is sending a very exciting message out to someone else. So I hope this reading helped you, Aries. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.